In a previous section, we discussed the value of inputting commands with a keyboard. One key to efficiency in AutoCAD is to take advantage of keyboard shortcuts and another thing called function keys. The function keys act as toggles. They turn certain drawing aids on and off. The two you will use the most often are the F3 and F8 commands. You can press the function keys for F3 or for F8 to toggle. Now the F3 key will toggle your running O snaps off and on. So if you press function and then F3, that turns your O snaps off or on, depending on what they are. Now you can also go to the status bar. On a Mac, it might be a little bit easier to do it this way. If you go to these status bars here, you can see this is the object to snap. Press F3. Or I can left click right here. And remember, if it's blue, it's on. Let's draw a couple of lines. And I also want a circle. You can draw them anywhere on your screen. Now an O snap is short for object snap. That will snap where you're drawing to an exact point or place on an object. That ensures that you draw completely and entirely as accurate as you possibly can. For an example, let's draw a line. So we'll come over here to the line command, left click on it. Now since my running O snaps are on, you can see they're turned on here, it's blue. When I move my cursor over an object, you'll see a little object that's green, that's called a glyph, that's at the center of that circle. That is my running object snap glyph, it's green. It tells me that's where I'm going to go. So if I click with my left click on my mouse, my new line is going to start right at the center of that circle. Now you can also see on the dynamic input that it will often give you a hint. It'll say center. And there are a lot of different O snaps that you can get to. And we'll go over those in detail later on. Now, if I click, it will snap right to the center. You see, I drew exactly at that center. I didn't have to figure out what the center of the circle was, you know, the coordinates, etc. It just snapped right to it. Now I can draw another line right to the end point of this line. You see that little box? That is the end point. Click, and I'm there. Return or enter or right click or escape to cancel out. I was able to draw this line from the exact center of the circle to the exact end point of my other line. That's an object snap. And there are a lot of different object snaps, like midpoint, near, center, quadrant, perpendicular, parallel. We'll go over those later on. Using the F3 key, we'll toggle that off and on. Or again, you can just come down here and click. Another one you're going to use a lot will be the F8 key. That turns ortho mode on or off. This mode makes sure that you draw objects perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical. So if I press function F8, turns it on. It's also found right here. This is ortho mode. You can also hit the Command and L button on your Mac. Command L, toggle it off or on. It's blue, so that means it's on. Start your line command, pick a point anywhere. If I draw a line with this on, you will see that I can only draw a line that is horizontal or vertical. Doesn't matter where I move my cursor, I can only draw straight lines. Now if I toggle that off, I'm free to draw wherever I want. The F8 key is something you'll use a lot because a lot of times you're drawing perfectly horizontal and vertical lines. F3 is something you're going to turn off and on a lot because you will constantly be snapping to your objects. A lot of times you'll leave that on all the time. Other times you don't want to snap to something or it's snapping to the wrong place. Let's look at some of the other function keys. The F1 key will turn your help window on or off. It's browser based now in this version, so it'll open up your browser and get you access to it that way. It's a great tool to find the commands you need or get to a better understanding of how they work. And you can also come up here to your help, search help, or AutoCAD help, or hit the command slash key. AutoCAD is full of a multitude of different ways to do the exact same thing. Find the way that works best for you so that you can get your work done. Now, F2 opens up the command line for you to review. If it's just a single line like this, it will open up so far. Press F2 again and it will close it. Now I found that this is what happens a lot of times in AutoCAD for Mac. It just does this. It moves the command up to the top and you have to drag it back down. F5 will toggle you through different isometric planes to help you draw isometric drawings and we'll talk about that later on. F6 
toggles the dynamic input off and on that we've already talked about in previous sessions. F7 will turn your grid off and on, and that's this little grid in the background. So if I press function F7, it turns that off. And again, you can get to that on your status bar. It's this one right here. Left click, it turns it off or on. If you turn that grid on and you press F9, that will turn your snap mode on. That's this guy right here. It's snap mode. Now what that does is it forces you to draw on your grid. Let me turn off the dynamic input so you can see it a little bit easier. Now you can see when I move my cursor, it's snapping to those grid points. So wherever the grid goes is where I can go. And that's it. So anywhere on this grid, I can draw to. Now that can be very handy for a lot of different drafting reasons. It can control what you're drawing. If you have to draw on a grid for any reason, it goes very quickly and very easily. A lot of times I find that I don't use this, but it is something that can be very handy, especially when you're first learning how to draw in AutoCAD. F10 turns on your polar tracking, and F11 will turn your OSNAP tracking off and on. These tracking devices will be explained better in later sections, but they will help you to draw more accurately with less input. Now the function keys turn off and on certain tools that help you to draw more accurately. Now make sure to watch the video pertaining to each of those tools for a more in-depth description about it. But that's what the function keys will do. And in AutoCAD for Mac, you have some other options besides using the function key. If you're not sure what they are, you can just come down to your status bar and just click on the ones that you want to turn off and on. In an earlier video, we talked about entering commands into the command line. We mentioned the fact that there are command aliases. These are typically one to two keystroke long entries that will start a command. Most of them are the first letter of the command, like L for line or C for circle. Now there is a file that you can edit yourself. It's called the PGP file. You can change any of these or add to it. And it's a simple text file that follows a set pattern for it to function correctly. Right now, I recommend that you don't change anything, that you just learn the way it is out of the box. But once you become more familiar with AutoCAD, you get some ideas of the tools you will be using the most often, you may want to go in and change this somehow. Also, you can go into this file and get a list of all of the command aliases. That's probably what you want to do at this point right now. Well, let me show you how to get to it. If you go up to your tools on your pull down menu, come down to customize and go to the edit command aliases or PGP and left click. This is just a text file. It gives you a little bit of information. Once you change this, you have to reload it. I'll show you that here once we're finished. All of this at the top of the file is just text for you to read and remember and it gives you a format of how everything works. So if you forget, you can just come up here and read this and it will show you. Here are all of your command aliases. What's on the left column is what you type in the keyboard. What's on the right is the command it will execute. A will execute the arc command. To change this is quite simple. On the left side, you type in your command alias, put a common, just hit the space until everything lines up here an asterisk, and then the command. You need to put in the full command and put everything in all caps. And that's all you have to do. Now you can change any of these right here. I can come up here, and this is a fully editable file the way it is right now. I can come in and I can change array. I can change it to HH or whatever it is I want to do. I'm not gonna save my file here because I don't wanna mess anything up. But if you do make a change, what I suggest that you do is that you scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you can see this is an extremely long list. So you may want to print this out if you would like. And they have different versions here from different versions of AutoCAD that have been put in place of old commands to new commands that have been replaced, etc. This is a very long list. If you want to change this, you come all the way to the bottom. Hit enter a couple of times. Now let's say you want to change line from L to Q. So you hit Q for your shortcut, comma, hit the space bar until you get to where it's lined up. Put in an asterisk and then line. Don't change the line command at the top, put it at the bottom. This is how AutoCAD works. It reads the PGP file, it starts at the top and goes to the bottom, and it will use the last shortcut that it finds. If you have multiple shortcuts in here for the line command, the last one that it reads is the one that it will use. So it will change 
what's up above without changing what's up above. That way you don't mess it up. If you make a mistake, say, hey, look, this isn't working the way I want it to. You just come back in and you delete your change and it goes back to the default setting. So once you've made your changes, I'm not going to save this file. Then you come up to your tools again, go to customize, reload command aliases. That may be a little more advanced than what you need to at this point. What I suggest is you open it up, print it out, and you will have that list. You can read it or don't print it out. Just look at it and read it. 